Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss how to find out the sizing of overhead tank and underground tank in plumbing. Okay. So after the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand about overhead tank size and underground tank size. So let's start. So before going to size this overhead tank and UGT underground tank, here some important remarks are there which we have to remember. Okay. So in that see it is written as per standard the overhead tank means OHT must be designed for maximum half day capacity. Always remember. Okay. And the UGT must be designed means underground tank must be designed for two to three day of capacity. And remember you one more point that while designing underground tank or overhead tank length and width must be kept in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and the maximum depth of underground tank or OHT can be 2 meter including 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 meter of air gap or freeboard. So this all point you have to follow okay because this all point is written as per the standards NBC okay BIS. So this you have to follow. Next see what they have given here. Uh, the height of plinth for OHT. Uh, generally uh, overhead tank we are placing above the terrace. So if you want to place this overhead tank above the plinth to maintain the pressure. So how much height we have to take. So it is given here. The height of plinth for OHT is from the top of the roof till bottom of tank could not be greater than 6 feet. Suppose if you want to go beyond that so you have to ask with uh, structure people okay if it's structure allow so we can go beyond it now here one point is written the overhead tank filling time can be taken as one hours to three hours for a small tank okay a small tank means if the capacity of tank is less than or equal to five meter cube means five thousand liter is called as a small tank okay and big tank if your capacity of tank is greater than 5 meter cube of 5000 liters so that is called as a big tank okay so the overhead tank filling time can be taken as 3 hours to 6 hours for big tank so as i told you big tank means if the capacity of tank is greater than 5 meter cube is called as a big tank so here i have taken one problem so it will easy to understand here you can see we have a building four story building so here everything is given uh, we have installed the underground tank here okay so we need to find out the capacity uh, sorry capacity and uh, size of this underground tank and overhead tank okay so let's start here you can see the pump uh, we are using the pump to so just uh, supply the water to the overhead tank okay or you can use uh, because in plumbing we have a two system direct system and indirect system okay you can supply the water directly to each and every floor otherwise uh, suppose you want to store that water for later use okay so you can supply that water with the help of piping this pipe is called as a pumping main pipe okay and here you have a pump set is given now from the with the help of that piping again from the overhead tank we are supplying water to each and every flow that pipe is called as a gravity pipe and it is written underground tank you have to design for two to three day capacity roof tank we have to design for half day storage capacity okay so here you can see in question what is given in the four story building there is total 60 number of people okay now we know that the number of people now we have to design overhead tank size and underground tank size so see here you have to note one thing that the water supply rate as per different standard is what see as per nbci national building code of india water supply rate is 135 to 150 liter per capita per day means per day for per capita how much water we need to supply 150 liter same as per upc 140 liter per capita per day and as per IPC International Plumbing Code, 100 liter per capita per day. So here, suppose I will take uh, just as per NBCI, we are designing here. 
so now see the number of people is given in question 60 and water supply rate as per nbci i am taking a 135 suppose liter per capita that much of water we need to supply okay so first of all we have to find out the daily water requirement so how to find out the daily water requirement same thing you have to find out the total number of people inside the building just multiply by water supply rate uh, which you have calculated uh, which we have taken here 135 liter we are supplying the water for per person per day so for 60 people how much 135 into 60 so here we get 8100 liter per day that much of water we need to supply you can convert this in meter cube also all of you know one liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay so that much this is our daily water requirement okay now you can see to find out the overhead tank size so volume of overhead tank how you can find out the volume we know that overhead tank always we have to design for half day capacity and here the ca uh, volume is coming 8.1 meter cube per day so here we have to design for half day so multiply by half here we get the volume 4.05 meter cube once you will get the volume so depth you have to assume as i told you that uh, the depth maximum depth how much we can take for overhead and for ugt tank design 2 meter including freeboard also 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 meter so here let's say i have taken the depth 1.5 meter so we can easily calculate the surface area now volume of that tank divided by depth so here we have got the surface area 2.7 square meter we know that while designing ugt or overhead tank length and width must be kept in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and the maximum depth of ugt or oht can be 2 meter including 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 meter of air gap or freeboard okay so therefore let's say here i have taken the length uh, the ratio between length and width is 2 is to 1 so let's say width here i am assuming is small a so length is how much 2a because ratio how much we have to maintain 2 is to 1 okay so if you are assuming width a so length is 2a now we have to find out the area so area surface area already uh, we have calculated you can see 2.7 square meter so area of rectangle is what all of you know length into width so width is a length is 2a 2a square is equal to 2.7 so from here we have to calculate the a value so here we have got 1.16 meter okay same way so now this value a value you have to put this a value in this equation in width and length so you will get the width 1.16 meter length 2.32 meter and depth we have taken 1.16 5 meter so the size of oht is what length 2.32 uh, sorry length is 2.32 meter width of this tank is 1.16 meter and height depth we have taken 1.5 meter and the final size of oht including freeboard because i have told you we have to include the freeboard suppose if we are assuming a 0.2 of air gap of freeboard so the final size of oht is 2.32 length 1.16 meter width and depth 1.7 meter okay same way here we have to calculate the underground tank size so as i told you that underground tank always we have to design for two to three day storage capacity so suppose we are designing for two day storage capacity so 8.1 volume whatever we have calculated multiply by two here the volume of UGT is 16.2 meter cube. Now you have to assume the depth. Let's say for underground tank, I am taking your depth 1.7 meter. Maximum you can go up to 2 meter, but including freeboard. And surface area uh, we have got by using the formula volume by depth 9.52 square meter. So we know that while designing the UGT and overtake, we have to length and width must be kept in the ratio of 2 into 1 so here that is why let's say we have taken here length width ratio 2 is to 1 so the width i am assuming here a so length is 2a same way surface area we know that so the area of rectangle is what a into 2a so 2a square from here you will get the a value 2.18 so just put this a value in this width and length so you will get the width uh, and length okay 
so the size of UGT here we have got but it is not a final size because if you include the free board let's say a uh, free board we have taken 0.3 meter so the final size of underground tank including free board is 4.36 length of that tank 2.18 meter width and 2 meter depth okay so in this way we have to find out the size of or we have to find out the capacity and size of overhead tank and underground tank so this is all about how to find out the size and capacity of UGT and overhead tank so I hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one